And now at 6, the historic heat wave across the Sunshine State continues to impact our waters. With Manatee Bay in the Upper Keys reporting water temperatures of 101 degrees, CBS News Miami's Touch Gowton spoke with NOAA experts about the long-term impact. The ocean waters around South Florida are warmer than usual. It's been much, much warmer, especially within Florida Bay and the West Florida Shelf. NOAA scientist Chris Kelvill calls it alarming. Earlier this week, the temperature hit 101 in the shallow Manatee Bay in the Upper Keys, with readings in the upper 80s and 90s in other areas. Recent rain did a lot to cool the ocean water, bringing Manatee Bay down to the mid-80s today. At this time of year, the water should be between 83 and 87 degrees. It'll often cool it down. The rain itself is cool. The clouds that come with the rain cool the water down. It's not as much heat getting into the water. So we've seen a significant drop in temperatures in the past day as we've started to see more rainfall occurring. Even with the water temperature getting closer to normal, Kelbel is still concerned about the hot days ahead, worrying about things like potential fish kills or dying seagrass. The fact that this is occurring in mid-July is very concerning, uh, especially if it lasts through mid-August. With all these warm ocean temperatures, there's a big concern for coral. That has the experts so concerned that right now it's all hands on deck trying to save this. So what we're looking at at the moment are called recruits. Cam McMath is with the University of Miami, Rosensteel School of Marine, Atmospheric and Earth Science. We're trying to increase the thermal tolerance of our corals, which essentially means we're trying to get them prepared for the temperatures to come. McMath explains scientists are looking at ways to find, create and grow corals that can live in higher ocean temperatures. And so we're going to be sampling a lot of these baby corals to figure out which of them is the strongest which of them has the best thermal tolerance and then we're going to start growing them and fragging them at a much faster rate than they would grow in the wild. At the same time scientists are doing what they can to save corals living in the hot water. Tomorrow we're going to be sending out boats and boats of people just to go out and collect these large coral colonies and the idea is just saving as much of the genetics as possible. I'm Virginia Key, Ted Scout, CBS News Miami.